good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you find yourself. Fudge Dice Roll here with a bit of a mini update. A little bit sad, but uh, an update nonetheless. I went to go start editing video for episodes 3, 4, and 5, only to find out that all of my audio uh, is gone. It is gone. There is no audio at all for all of that. So all three of those episodes, uh, about six to seven hours worth of content is basically completely unusable. I'm not going to let that break my spirit. We're still gonna continue along with the series here. I just wanna make a really fast update video here just to catch you up kind of on the stuff that transpired during that time. So real fast, I'm going to go into construction mode here so that we can kind of look at the farm and I can walk through things. So uh, I'm not sure if we had gotten chickens or not in episode two, but we have chickens, not a whole bunch, but we have some chickens. Uh, field seven, which was planted with corn, we completely harvested it. That was a wild ride because harvesting, uh, it was in October one, we're in October two now. We had a ton of rain. And so like we barely managed to get this harvested. We also dropped wheat, uh, not wheat, we also had it drop straw and we swathed up, bailed up all that straw. It ended up being 19 bales of straw at uh, 11,000 liters per bale. We took all that to the animal trader and sold that all for about 10K, which was great. Uh, in total, we harvested 154,000 liters of corn, which we will be selling come uh, December, January. We still have a ton of field care to do with this field in particular. Uh, so much work needs to be done. It needs to be completely subsoiled. Uh, there's, uh, we haven't gotten soil samples yet for this field, but from doing our harvest, I can tell that there are two big areas of like sandy loam. Uh, but the vast majority, like this huge middle swath through the field is gotta be loam, uh, because in total, this field has a potential fertility rate of 106%, which means that we will get a uh, pretty good little extra bit of crop as long as we fully take care of this. Uh, speaking of taking care of things, we have swapped out our previous direct drill seeder, uh, which had an eight meter working width for this Amazon one here that was in the sale shop, which has a 15 meter working width. It is not a direct drill, but that is okay because we do have a shallow cultivator here, which is going to be just fine. Uh, Field 10, which is wheat, had the ground uh, oilseed radish. We got ground into the soil, which gave us a 20 out of a possible 200 nitrogen score. Uh, the wheat here needed, I believe, a score of 160. So we did come back through here uh, once we had our greenery starting and we we fertilized with a, uh, with a dry fertilizer spreader. So we put fertilization pellets down and that got everything to where it needed to go. If we take a quick look here at our summary data, we will see that for field 10, we are at a 58 uh, out of, I think a possible, I wanna say that you the possible score is like 90. I don't know, I'd have to go through here and tally everything up, but yeah, so it is doing really good right now. Our pH is mid of the line. Our nitrogen is exactly where it needs to be. So we are gonna get a really, really good harvest out of this. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, our harvest that we got out of here last year, uh, it was about 64 cubic meters. So I'm really expecting to be probably closer to that 80 to 90 cubic meters. Now that this has been very well taken care of and maintained, we have at this point spent $7,000 in this field between fertilizers, seed, fuel, and vehicle maintenance costs. So I'm really hoping that we can get a good recuperation of that at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, so basically we lost a bunch of content, but I am not gonna let that deter me from keeping the series going. I have also swapped out microphones because I was noticing that I was having a lot of hum in the background. So I have swapped over to a different microphone that I have. 
this one is just one that I don't run very often. And the reason for that is because it is incredibly sensitive, even with like a substantial amount of filtering done on the recording software end, it picks up pretty much any extra noise that is going on in the background. The to include uh, my mini Aussie when he is here uh, and he likes to go crazy whenever there's anybody at the front door. And so I think what I'm going to have to do in the future is kind of separate audio tracks because right now I have everything going to one track. I know lazy, lazy YouTuber slash streamer. I should have it going to two tracks so that I can edit out any extra noise, uh, you know, that's not tied to the game getting edited out to. Anyway, I don't want this video to run super duper long. I just wanted to do an update let you know uh i'm not going to get heartbroken and discouraged we will continue this series i will now be more cognizant of when any updates are done i updated obs i should have taken the two minutes to go through all my settings and make sure my settings were good i didn't it's on me i've got nobody to blame but myself so moving forward uh, I will either A, not be updating OBS during the middle of a season, or B, be making sure to check all my sound settings prior to recording, which is probably what's going to happen for the next few recordings, because I'm going to be paranoid. With that, all that said, thank you guys so much for watching the content. I really do appreciate it. If you could please continue to try to leave these likes, these comments, and 85% of my viewer base is not subscribed to the channel. Please, guys, hit that subscribe button. I literally can't get to a thousand subscribers without you subscribing 85% of the people viewing. I mean, I would be getting real close to those numbers. So if you could do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we'll be keeping the farming sim content coming. We will work past this little issue and I will continue to provide you guys some fun, relaxing and at times educational, uh, you know, farming sim content. I love your faces, take care of yourselves, and as always, this is Fudge Dice Roll, signing off.